So what we want, we, we want to, uh, a way to argue about the propagation of, of security in such situations uh, um, and that the security is preserved when protocols composed. So, uh, um, so this is what we want to do. We want to be able to argue security under composition. And what we're going to do, we're going to show, but as I said, we said that there are many ways for protocols to compose. We're not going to try to go each one of them, check, check, check this way. Instead, we're going to do something else. We're going to define one formal way of composing protocols and, uh, and, and prove security that the security is preserved for that particular way of composing protocols. And then we're going to argue that this particular way of composing protocols is actually quite general. We actually use it to express essentially, I don't know, all others, but many other uh, ways of putting them together called protocols. Okay, so this is, this is the idea. And this is this universal composition, right? So we're going to show a single composition operation on, on systems, on protocols, and uh, um, we show they can express most other ones, and they preserve security. So what's the composition operation? Uh, uh, so it's kind of a natural thing. So, so the ingredients uh, are, uh, are the following. So we have a protocol pi, a system that, uh, uh, that realizes in the way that we had before, an ideal service, which I call it here phi. Before it was F, never mind. And, uh, and another protocol or a system, rho, that makes API calls to, to phi. Okay, so it kind of uses, is, the, is kind of the environment for phi, right? the API calls to phi. Um, and the result we're going to get from together. So, yeah, it the second, either this slide or the next slide, just a second. Is it here? In a second, okay. Uh, uh, so, so what we're going to result is a protocol. I wish I could have two slides at the same time. Never mind. The uh, protocol uh, where uh, which I'm going to call uh, rho with phi uh, rho to pi, where uh, as the uh, notation says, is that in rho every call to phi uh, is replaced by a call to pi. So it's kind of a complicated statement because. Uh, a row is a whole system with many, many components, many parties. Each one of them is running their own thing. So we're going to have to define what it means literally for each component of the system to do that. But on an abstract level, this is what's happening. Um, and values returned from pi is treated as coming from phi. So just uh, 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 this is essentially like subroutine substitution for sequential programs, but kind of in a distributed way. Right? So we're going to have to define exactly what it means in this distributed way because it's, uh, it's a complicated beast, but this is the idea. Um, and uh, it's written here, so each protocol system has many participants, and each participant, actually there could be many uh, different instances of pi going on in the system. Each one of them is many participants, and there could be many of them, so it's a big mess, but, uh, but, but uh, uh, conceptually this is what we want to do. Every instance of phi should be replaced. Every, every, every instance of phi should be replaced by an instance of pi, right? And remember that phi was a specification, and pi is a protocol with good messages, etc. So, so it's actually a big change in the system. But uh, from the API point of view, is is a, is a natural change. Um, so. Uh, um, so you remember that pi and phi may have similar APIs, but very different non-API behavior, kind of side effects, as we said. But still, uh, uh, um, the, the APIs are the same. So, so here is it graphically, can again hide all the complication. So, so before we had the protocol uh, uh, row that has uh, calls to, uh, to many uh, blobs of, uh, of uh, phi, okay? And uh, this is, again, the conceptual blob. So each one of them has multiple parties, et cetera. Uh, and, uh, and, and we just replaced every blob of phi with a, with a blob of with instance of pi. OK? And in fact, I didn't draw it, but uh, uh, you know, all the side effects of pi, of pi of each one of those pi have side effects with, uh, with the environment. And also, each one of these has its own side effects of the, with the environment. So the environment now, here it sees one, side, one kind of side effect channel with row and many, one of each one of those uh, phi's. And here it does the same thing, but here it replaced with uh, pi's and they're going to be a simulator, et cetera. So is phi 
uh, f combined with s or just f? Or is it something else? So there's no s here. So I, I didn't do security or anything. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just talking about uh, uh, um, the protocol operations. So the environment, in fact, you know, maybe it's confusing to talk about the environment here. But I'm just talking about uh, uh, what's, you know, I'm just talking about the, the nuts and bolts of, of, the, of, the, of the operation. Right? So the environment is part of the analysis. If, if you think about it this way, so this is a different way of looking at it. So, so here's a protocol row that has, uh, uh, here it has four parties in that protocol. And they talk to each other in some way. Okay, and, in, and, and also they have kind of API calls to, to F, because F is kind of joint, and is, uh, so someone talks to everybody together, right? So now I'm going to replace it uh, 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 with, uh, uh, sorry. So now I'm going to do the, 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 the substitution operation. So now f is replaced with pi, but pi is now also a protocol uh, that between four parties. So now these are subroutines. Each one does it as a subroutine. You know, it's, it's, it's a process that runs within this, think of it as a, as a process or a computer. This is a process that runs locally here. And there are four processes, one for, uh, for each computer of pi. And, but the APIs here are kind of copied from here. 